Well, everything has changed for the better. <laughs> oh, you are a wonderful audience, and the show keeps rolling along. There's a couple of guys that are going to come on now that I just can't help and can't wait to get out there in front and see. You've seen them many times. Most of us here tonight are here to do comedy highlights of the last 10 years. Well, but the last 2,000 years belongs to Carl Reiner and Mel Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> This gentleman here is one of the phenomena of the world. He looks no older than Mr. Sean, and yet he is 2,000 years old. Is that true, sir? Yes, you want to see my driver's license? No, no, we, we have to authenticate. The Mayo Clinic has checked you out and said that you are 2,000. Sir, what has kept you alive for 2,000 years? When I'll go in an airplane, if I'll go in an airplane, I'll never sit in the first two seats or the last two seats from an airplane. You mean not sitting in the first two or the first last two seats? Two in the last two has seats. kept you alive? I don't understand that. Why? Has that because kept you alive? Because if the plane, unfortunately, should take a flop out from the sky, you're going to go down with it and break your foot. Right? <laughs> yes. But if, if the plane, as you say, flops out of the sky, everybody in all the seats will break their feet. I mean, at least. Yeah, let me amend that. Any seat is no good. In other words, you're afraid to fly in an airplane. On the nosy. <laughs> I see, but why? Because if the good Lord meant men to fly, he would have given them tickets, right? <laughs> Sir, I've always been interested in the, origin, in the origin of words. For instance, a simple word like cheese. Where did that come cheese from? Cheese is a lovely story how we get the word cheese in our, in our vernacular. In the year 28 dash, there was an old farmer, and he, a uh, gentleman, came to his land and said, I'm so thirsty, may I have a little dipper milk? Ah. And he said, certainly, go over to the barrel. He not knowing that the barrel of milk had soured, see? Ah. So this poor beggar man came to the barrel and opened up from the top and looked in and looked down and went, cheese! <laughs> Okay. That's how the word I cheese see. came into it's being. It's very onomatopoetic. Yes, and that's the truth. Yes. yes. Now we don't use that anymore. No, we? no. Now we go in, we say to the grocery, I'll have cheese. You don't go, cheese, you scared the grocery. <laughs> There's a custom that has come down through the ages. Where did it start? People applauding when they like something. This, this is, this is not. Did people always do that in the old days? It's very sophisticated, this little. What did you do in a caveman? When we were excited, we did something primitive and natural. I mean, when we were exposed to our wonderment, we really reacted. I mean, it was a. But not like this. No, not like that. Well, how did you react? Uh, did you do something? You do something, and I'll show you the old-fashioned. Applause. You you sing a little song. I'll show you how when we liked something, we really bent for it. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You sing a little song. A high note. I'll give you a high, a high note. Did you see that? Yes. Did you see what that? did you do? A natural reaction. Ah! Ah! Oh! People actually hit themselves oh, in the face. Oh, boy. Wow. That hurts, though. Yeah, you're better than us now. <laughs> but people applaud. Right. And listen, it was a dangerous thing. We could not continue to react to wonderments like that. Because when we had a big star, you know, like Sammy Davis Sr. would come and play the game. Way back then, yes. You know, not Junior, the old one. Yes. We couldn't, we would hurt ourselves when he was terrific. So Murray, the wise one. Yes. Murray, who was he smart? What Murray, did he do? He was smart. Murray said, folks, pull your faces out of the applause. Pull your faces out. And How do you do that? Do you mean? Could you give us an example? Terrific and terrific. And terrific. <laughs> Out of the applause, see? That's fantastic. That's how Murray did it. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. You don't want Wonderful them to applaud by, by doing that. No, don't hurt your faces, folks. Just a simple little clapping will suffice. Thank, thank you. you.